It's a glorious Sunday afternoon in September. This is the first Sunday in September and what a fabulous day it is. Good afternoon, everyone. It is going to be going up to about 24, 25 degrees. It is about 23 degrees, but then it feels like 25. So I've decided to go out for my run in the park before the weather gets horrendous and atrocious and it makes any type of exercise very difficult so i have decided to do my run because as we all know i have to do it because i need to keep on top of my health and my fitness and i think that it's a lot more bearable earlier in the afternoon i think if you wait until later on the conditions are a lot worse and it makes it a lot more difficult so I think my advice to you would be to get the exercise in as quickly as you can preferably in the morning especially during the summer um, but I think it's good to get any type of exercise that you can so I tend to do running because I don't really do other sports but it's really up to you what you decide to do. You could even take up swimming or things like that. It's a very, very gloomy day in October and I am going for my flu jab. It's pretty important for those of us that have health conditions and to save off any potential to catch any um, flu or any illnesses during the winter time so I'm just taking a precaution and doing that today um, hopefully I won't have to wait too long but you never know I would say that if you are eligible to get your flu jab to do so because it will help the fight against the winter and all the sicknesses that will come along with it it was pretty painless and I didn't even notice at all. So yeah, there was a bit of queuing because of the amount of people that was in the pharmacy because it was a pretty small pharmacy. I was seen pretty quickly. I think there were also some people queuing and I might have jumped the queue, but they did call my name first, so I can't help that. Um, but yeah, I am pretty happy that I did get it done and yeah, so hopefully all will be great and I won't get COVID. I did get it twice before, so I really don't want to have it again. But I do recommend to all of you that haven't gotten the jab or booster to do so because it will help stop the spread of COVID-19. So I do recommend that. Well, as you can see, it is nice and drizzly here in Oxbridge today. And I'm not going to let a little rain stop me. I'm not the Wicked Witch of the West, so I'm not going to be melting. But I think I wanted to do something that I would normally avoid. I would normally avoid going out in the rain, but... I think I need to do this. I think it's good for my mental health and I think it's good to get out even if it is raining. I'm really surprised I'm saying this. Um, it's certainly not like me to be saying this and I think I am turning over a new leaf because whoop dee, it's raining, right? So get over it right so that's what I'm doing and hopefully my health will be better for it uh, so yeah I'm just enjoying this rain and what it has to offer and it's nice and quiet because everyone seems to be awake I'm not going to be running just now because it's a little slippery and and I don't really want to fall because I'm always very conscious of the wet floor and the potential to fall. 
But yeah, it's nice and quiet here today because the kids aren't out playing, so maybe I need to do this more often. So don't let the rain stop you from doing your exercise. Well, it has been six months since my last blood test to, to find out about my sugar levels and cholesterol. And today we're just doing a simple blood test to see what the sugar levels are and what the fat levels are. Blood tells you a lot about your system and I think it's good to always get checked when it is due because things change and hopefully things will improve. But yeah, today I'm getting my blood work done and it should be ready pretty soon I think. So now let's head inside to see what to expect. So I'm right at the health center now, and I'll see you later. Bye! Well, I have come out of the doctor's surgery now, and uh, have some sobering news. I do have diabetes. It, it isn't pre-diabetes as I thought that it was. So that'll mean that um, I have to watch the carb intake and she did say to focus more on the diabetes aspect of things and to worry about the cholesterol um secondly because once i tackle the diabetes the cholesterol will also decrease but the main issue is the carbs i think so she did say that the diabetes levels was quite low, which is good, but I'm still classified as a diabetic. So there's no disputing that. I think I did need to hear some of these hard facts and I don't want to be diabetic. And with this knowledge, at least I could do something about it. And <sighs> no carbs for me. Okay, I should find out things if things are serious. Uh, otherwise, I would come back in about six months. They will notify me if the results are bad or unexpected or there's a spike in levels, but hopefully I won't be hearing back from them. Yeah, I think that we'll just have to wait and see and yeah. Well, I have made it to Medford in the hospital again. I am here to find out my results from the glaucoma tests that were performed a few months ago. It was delayed and I didn't see a consultant back then because of the junior doctor and the consultant strike. So I am glad that I have only been appointment to see a consultant now and to get some advice and any uh, and get some advice on anything that I need to do to improve my situation. So I think I don't really want bad news, but I think everyone says that, don't they? Uh, it is kind of scary because. I don't know what to expect right now and it is a little scary the potential to have your eyesight being damaged because of um, diabetes or things that I could be doing to avoid this. So let's see what the consultant has to say and have to check in per usual. So yeah. I think that is going to be interesting. So yeah, let's see what happens. Well, I have had an interesting morning at Mount Vernon Hospital. It is good that they did see me and um, I am being diagnosed and I am being treated for glaucoma. The result that the consultant gave me was that it was 
glaucoma suspect because I think the nerve ending seemed a bit long and protruding so they just wanted to take a precaution to ensure that it wasn't anything more serious. I think that the takeaway story from this is that it's always a really good idea to get checked and to get tested and try to prevent it from getting any worse and I think small things like lifestyle changes and also diet and exercise is an important thing to help battle glaucoma and things related to diabetes. Well, I am on my way to the GP surgery's office to meet with the nurse and hopefully the news isn't going to be that bad. However, I wasn't expecting an appointment so soon because I only saw her last month. What could this be about? I'm not even sure. Um, I think that the not knowing is causing some anxiety and I don't know what. Well, I think the only thing to do is to go in and speak to her and see what I need to prove upon, whether it's diabetes or cholesterol or something like that. Well, I have come out of the GP surgery and the diabetes was the same as it was since my last checkup um, and since the last analysis. I think the thing that they were concerned about was the cholesterol or that's what we were talking about. So the cholesterol is 7.7. .7. Anything above 10% and then they would be prescribing they would be prescribing medications such as statins to help regulate the cholesterol levels so overall she wasn't that concerned but it is a thing that they have to do on a yearly basis to check whether things have gotten better or worse so i think what she said to me was is that it's good to maintain and to get checked up by it every year to see whether your condition will have deteriorated or not. So I'm glad I did get it checked. And I'm really glad that it wasn't the bad news that I was predicting. Well, I am about to attend my annual diabetic screening to see whether the sugar levels have gone up or not since the last reading was taken. Um, I'm not really sure what the actual reading is going to be and I'm not exactly sure how well I have followed the instructions but I am willing to take everything that they say on board and Hopefully, the sugar levels haven't gone up dramatically since the last reading because I really don't feel like taking any medication at this point. But um, if that is the case, then so be it. But for right now, we will be doing a blood test as well as a urine test. Um, and I'm not really sure what else we will be doing today, but I am going to be ready just in case there is a lot more testing involved. And I will need to go back in about two weeks time to get the results. So that was an interesting appointment. She took two vials of blood. They are for kidney, liver, cholesterol, and blood sugar levels which will indicate whether my diabetes have gotten worse or not. I was also able to leave a urine sample to detect any abnormality in my system. The normal weight that I should be at is 76 kilos 80. They would also allow it to go as much as a about 80. Um, I think for myself, I am 88. I am 88, and I think that's a little 
too much. Um, so I think I'm going to make a concerted effort to bring it down some more by eating whole grains and things of that sort and getting enough sleep in. I think I just have to cut out the booze as well, I guess. So I think it's all a combination of factors because I really don't want to be on medication and I think for the most part that would be the case if I don't actually decide to lose any weight. Uh, so I have to come back in about two weeks time to see what the results are and to see whether meds is an option. Um, I don't know. So there's no point worrying about something that hasn't happened yet. So I think my worry will be in two weeks once I get the message. So once I get the results, I mean. So there's no point worrying just now. Good afternoon, everyone. Today is February the 18th and the weather is surprisingly favorable and quite mild for February and I have gone for a run for the first time since I believe November. Um, I'm not wearing any jackets at the moment because I think the weather is about 16 degrees and it doesn't really need any um, jacket for the time being. Um, I have been suffering from illness and I haven't been feeling well and I think that the weather has been too cold for me to do anything. I don't think that that's a good excuse, so I'm not going to use it anymore. Um, so yeah, I've done almost two kilometers so far. Um, I think I'm going to keep going until my feet wear out or I just decide to for myself, okay, I've had enough. But I haven't experienced that yet, so I'm going to keep going at this moment. It is quite weird because I have been wearing jackets when I have gone out but today is actually the day that I thought about wearing a jacket maybe like one of those um exercise ones but then I have been jogging almost constantly since I started so I am building up sweat to combat the cold so if I wasn't running I, I believe I would be feeling the chilliness and the cold but I do have a lot of sweat coming down in all the wrong places and I believe I should be warm enough to overcome any chills that might come my way and I'm making myself do exercise especially when it is nice and sunny out because when it's not sunny out that I really don't really feel like doing anything at all. So I'm going to keep going because I want to get the cholesterol and the diabetes down and I think the only way to do that is with good diet and exercise. So I will do just that. Well I have jogged almost three kilometers and I think it is time for me to head home now because I don't want to overdo it and I don't want to injure myself by pressing on too hard. This does go to show that I am capable of doing this um, jogging and exercise once again even though I did have a bit of a gap between when I last did it. It was surprisingly not too difficult. Um, I am kind of proud of myself for pushing myself because I could have easily um, been sitting at home watching TV, being a Lay's potato chip and being a couch potato basically. Uh, but I decided not to. Um, 
I do have an appointment at the GP to see the nurse, so maybe this is one of the reasons why it has spurred me on to do exercises and to take it more seriously. This is my yearly physical in terms of diabetic testing to see how progressive the diabetes has gotten or whether it has improved or worsened. So, so yeah, um, so I think I want to get in um, before the rain gets any worse and hopefully I'll be seen relatively quickly and I hope to have the results by next Thursday when I also am supposed to attend a follow-up which is when I will be attending a follow-up appointment. So yes, let's see how that one goes. Well, I have some news about my diabetic stuff. I have some diabetic news. Um, the diabetic levels are at 47. So that is on the low scale in terms of diabetes. Um, I think when you reach 50, that's when alarms kind of go off and um, things like that. Also, my cholesterol levels have gone down and she said that it was the lowest that it has been since I've started going to the surgery and to get things checked out. So I'm really impressed with that as well. I think overall for the Q risk, meaning the risk of me having a heart attack because of the cholesterol, that is at 7.2. Um, she said that with age and with each passing year, that number is gonna go towards 10. And when it does reach 10, I would need to be on prescription for cholesterol because I don't really want to be having a heart attack or a stroke or anything like that. So in that scenario, it would be safer to be on medication in order to keep me alive and healthy. So I'm pretty optimistic and pretty hopeful about my health at the moment because my diabetic levels have gone down and the cholesterol overall have gone down. I thought that it would have been up for some reason, but I'm glad that I am mistaken. But overall, I am pretty happy with what she told me. I thought that she was really tested for some reason, but I'm glad that that's not the case. So I will have to come back in, in about six months time to get checked up um, because I think it's done twice a year for diabetes. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the results and she did say to keep on doing what I have been doing because things seem to have improved health-wise. So yeah, I think we'll continue doing that and let's see where it goes from there. For those of you that have liked the video, please hit the like button and leave a comment if you want to leave something below. And for those of you that haven't subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button because it really will help our YouTube channel this year because we do really want to ramp up those numbers. So thank you very much and we'll see you next time.